Boiling mode algorithm is a very useful stream matching algorithm. The input are two strings. One is a text string, the other is pattern string. The problem is to find n or all instances of pattern string in text string. In this example, there is a match. So the output is the index of the first letter. Different from other stream matching algorithms, which are always compared from left to right, Boimo algorithm compare from right to left. In this case, they are different, and S is not existed in this whole pattern stream, so we can skip all the way to the right. And compare again. This is the bad character rule. We'll talk about it later in details. Every time after we skipped, we need to start from the rightmost position again. In this case, P is different from E. But this time, P is, is existed in pattern string. So we need to align this to P. Every time after we skipped, we need to compare from the rightmost position again. So this time E, same, P, L, same, P, same, M, same, and I is different. So according to bad character rule, we need to skip this whole pattern string to the right. But can we do better? Um, the answer is yes, because we have second rule, the good suffix rule. Here, E is same with E. And we can skip the whole pattern to align this to E. And we can skip furthermore. We compare from the rightmost position again. P is not equal to E and P is here. We align this to P. M A X E. And compare from the rightmost position again. And finally find the match. The main function of Boimler algorithm is to loop through the whole text tree. So naturally, we need to have a pointer for text. And also, because we need to compare with pattern string, so we need another pointer for pattern. And the start position. We need to compare from rightmost position every time. So the start, the start position is the pattern dot length minus one and how do we increment increment every time we found a mismatch if mismatch for pattern string is pretty easy we switch to the rightmost position that is this increment this equal to pattern dot length minus one and for the text pointer we have good suffix rule and also bad character rule because we want to skip as many positions as possible so we will choose the max of bad character rule and good suffix rule and we need to increment plus increment by this max value. And when there is a match, it's pretty easy. When there is match, we just decrease the menu, the value, minus, minus, t pointer, minus, minus, p pointer, minus, minus. Let's talk about the bad character rule first. Here is an example. 
We compare from the rightmost position, and there are two B here. We align the rightmost B because otherwise we may miss the possible match. So the text pointer should be increased to here. And it's the same distance from the rightmost B to the end of the pattern string. Let's check the second example. Here is mismatch. We align the rightmost B. And start to compare from the rightmost position again. The pointer of text should move all the way to here. You can see it's the same, same distance, rightmost B to the end of the pattern string. Let's look at another example. Here, X is not in the pattern string, so we switch all the pattern string to the right. So the increment of text pointer should be the length of the pattern string. Let's look at the last example here. Here, same, B is the same, and B is different. So if we align this to B, it may switch whole pattern string to the left. It's in the wrong direction. It's a wrong direction. So we should overlook the last character in the pattern string. We can think it's not exist. So we switch the whole string. C, A, D, D, B. And continue to compare. View the bad character rule first. If the bad character is not in the pattern string, we skip the the pattern by pattern dot length. If the bad character is in the pattern string, the skip value should be equal to the distance between the last index and the index of the rightmost mismatch of the character. And last, the last character should be overlooked. And here is a code. I, my array size is 256. If your source string only contains, say, lowercase lower case character, you could use 26 instead. Uh, 256 contains all the ASCII code characters. And the data structure I used here is array int array. Array is a very useful and also very simple data structure uh, to, can, to store the key value pair information. Uh, I have a variable last index. I think the last index um, help me to understand the, the logic behind. That is the distance between the last index and the rightmost character position. And here, the first loop. First loop is to set up the value to the pattern dot length. And the second loop is to calculate the ASCII number first and then update the skip value according to the distance. Okay, let's walk through this, through this example. This is the index, and this is the unique characters, all unique characters. And it's the ASCII number of the character. And uh, we set up the jump value, the skip value to pattern of length, that is 8. And last index is 7, and we update. We loop through the index and to update the value of those unique characters. First the A here, it should be 7 minus 0, 7. 
seven minus one six minus two five minus three four and here the fourth one is a second a so update a's value here that is seven minus four three and second b index is five so seven minus five is two and last e seven minus six one and all the rest skip value is eight that's all for the bad character rule it's pretty easy compared to the good suffix rule we'll talk about the good suffix rule in details in the coming videos bye